This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Netflix. It's time once again to check out the email. Checking the emails. The first one is from John. He says, I need to commend Darren. Huh? It's been at least 10 episodes since he's hurt himself. Remember what it would be like every episode when you would hurt yourself? Come remember on. when he sliced his hand open? I remember that. He even had to go to the ER and everything. Good times. I think he deserves an award. And you know what? I have an award for you. Yeah? Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Actually, you guys missed it. I'll just like, give you a Just bruise. earlier in the... No, I'm, I'm not wearing my shoes right now, and I just stubbed my toe on a he server. He did. <laughs> of course, Paul's He's not like, recording. All right, are we ready to record? Boom. Ah! And then some superfluous... So, so there's words. Beep, I don't know. Beep, 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 what are they beep. called? Expletives. <laughs> wow, I am gone today. <laughs> it's okay. It's yes. Right. Let's get to the next email. Thank you for the award. The next one is from Igor. He says, I'm looking for USB and e a USB Ethernet adapter. Mm -hmm. I think you are using Trendnet TUT2 TAC ETG. My question is, do you have any issues in Linux with that adapter? If you are not using that one, could you please recommend one? OK, so this right here, the USB to gigabit Ethernet adapter from Trendnet, this is the TU2 ETG. Um, Interesting that it claims to be a gigabit, even though it's USB. I mean, come on, what, what's up with that? But uh, seriously, that's actually not the one I use. I use this one here. It is the TU-TAC ET100C. And TreadNet actually has a page, a compatibility list, uh, listing all the operating systems that their different products support. I've looked up the one that you were speaking of, and it uh, does not claim to have Linux support. Uh, but then again, neither does this one. So. Although I will say, from personal experience, the uh, ET100C works flawlessly in every OS that I've thrown at it. But then again, most, most Linux OSs I've thrown at it were really Debian-based. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you're running Gen 2, you might have to compile stuff. But if you're running Gen 2, you're probably used to compiling stuff. Cool. Just throwing that out there. Um, oh, that's the other thing. This guy, though, no worky Windows 7. No worky Windows no 7. No worky Windows 7. 32 or 64? No, no, nothing. Nothing. XP, oh. you're golden, but uh, seven. That's sad because I really happening. like TrendNet. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. I mean, the, when this product came out, they didn't, they didn't. That's true. Well, then again, that's the thing. That's the thing that drives me crazy, though, is the like, the whole. Oh, we're not going to write drivers for our old products. You know, Microsoft comes out with a new OS. That's just great time for us to rev some new, throw this old chip in a new packaging, write some drivers for it. And I don't know. I'm just uh, anyway. Make people yes. buy a new one. Yay. That's why open is good. Yes. I like open. I agree. And, I, and yeah, anyway, I commend, uh, uh, well, I think I already did it in the interview, but um, Yubico, interesting conversation off camera about their choice to go open source. I thought that that was great. Uh, How did you? you? Know, Steve Gibson mentioned on air that they were open source, and then they went, oh, well, actually, that's not a bad idea. And then boom, you know, and it's, awesome. it's never a bad thing. <laughs> it always helps. So I, I prefer to go with hardware that has more open drivers mm -hmm. is why, you know, I mean, I don't want to get into a debate about ATI versus NVIDIA, but uh, hardware with open source drivers is always better. Um, but you got you to be really picky. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually uh, new enough to Linux that I actually don't know of a fantastic resource for finding what hardware is great. I mean, I know of a couple of places to find as far as wireless networks are concerned. I mean, we had a lot of fun with your Broadcom. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> so if you guys actually have some resources, hit us up with those because we'd love to come through them as well as there was actually a question that I had for you guys. Um, we're looking to replace this bad boy that runs our IRC wall because I've never been happy with him. I'm thinking some of those display link, uh, USB to VGAs, but I want to hear your guys' opinion on those. Is anybody out there using those? I'm looking for something inexpensive, something that will easily allow us to run eight screens. I know the video performance could be it's going to be crap, but we're talking uh, about IRC. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's IRC. Text. Yeah. yeah, we don't really need anything super crazy. We, All right, we have one last email do you want to get to. Sure. This one's from Chris. He says, I was trying to use the PE to USB, and it won't find my USBs. Is there a different program that I can use? Yeah, uh, PE to USB, great uh, uh, thing that allows you to get BART PE, mm -hmm. which we played with in the past. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a Windows Live distribution. 
uh, going uh, on a USB rather than a CD, which is like optical media. What's that? Come on, people. Um, Who knows? Turns out UNET Bootin, we love UNET Bootin, yeah. it will do it. Uh, in fact, there was an article just published uh, just a couple months ago about getting BART PE in there. It's going to be linked in our show notes, and I find that the quickest and easiest way. I mean, a lot of times with UNET cool. Bootin too, you get the drop down, you hit download, and you don't have to go and get an ISO yeah, beforehand. Yeah, it makes it super easy for you. Yeah, so it's kind of like your one-stop shop for all sorts of USB booting goodness. Mm, deliciousness. Now stay tuned because we'll be right back with this week's Technolist photo and the trivia after a quick break. I know the answer to the trivia. With Netflix, the world's largest subscription streaming service, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies to your Microsoft Xbox 360, the Sony PS3 console, the Nintendo Wii console, and your computer for one low monthly price. No late fees, no due dates, and for a limited time, Hack5 viewers can get a free 30-day trial membership at netflix.com slash hack5. Sign up now and be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Oh, wait, 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 it's not a solid state. I forgot. <laughs> Hooray for crashing hard disks. <laughs> oh, you know all about that, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, it's, I've my never... two, it's my last two solid states that all have died All of my hard drives? My, none of my hard drives Did the died. solid state drive Why? in the Hello Kitty backpack died? I am still running my one at home that I built my freshman year of college. So that means it's been running for like six, seven years. Wow. Awesome. Anyway, let's get to the Technolist photo of the week. Ooh, I want to see this. It's from Green Smile. He sent it in this awesome ASCII art animated GIF, or GIF, however you like to say it, of the Hack5 logo. It's so Stop. cool. See, now you know what stuff. we need is what? the actual ASCII file so that when we put together the BBS, we have the oh, yes! Legend Great of the Red Dragon. totally Coming said back. this, that. Oh, my God. Yes. I miss Legend of the Red Dragon. Anyway, if you guys have pictures, send them over to feedback at hack5.org, and we will happily post them on our okay. show. Is it time for the trivia yet? Yes, it's is time, it time for the okay. trivia. Yes. All right. Okay. So last week's trivia question was, in the movie Hackers, Crash Override uses social engineering to get what information out of the security Ooh. guard? It's, it's the number off the modem. Yes. And I answer your trivia question with another question, and this is from my MDB actually. Okay. But at the beginning of the movie, when Dade phones the security desk of the television station he's hacking into, uh, he gives the name Eddie Vedder, which is the singer of what rock band? I have no clue. You don't remember the 90s? It was Pearl Jam. Oh, I see. I only know like the hits of the Pearl Jam. Mm. All the Pearl Jam hits like that were on the radio. I've never like, like what? I don't. I can't. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember anything off the top of my head. I never got one of their CDs. I was. <laughs> oh Paul, yeah. Paul Oliver is singing That's what now? Editing. No. No. That's the only thing I can remember from the '90s is Spoon Man. Spoon Man. Is that Pearl Jam? I must no. have missed oh. the 90s. I, you know, my problem was I was behind a CRT for most of the 90s. I was TLC pop culture, and Sugar Ray, so, you know. I liked pop culture, but You were not watching that TRL when you, were in, when you were in high school, MTV. weren't you? Yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. Whatever. What is TRL? It was Total Request Live, and it had Carson oh, Daly. Oh, yeah. Wow, Carson we Daly, are yeah. not talking okay. about anything technology related, <laughs> so let's move on. That's awesome. Anyway. This week's trivia question is, what companies do the original three developers of Metasploit work for now, currently, this year? Mm. Answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win something out of my goodie bag. Who is knows it what it could be? Swag bag is getting It could be huge. makeup. Could... I'm just no, kidding. Couldn't, couldn't <laughs> no, I'm not going to send you makeup. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you guys so much for bearing with us on this laissez-faire episode of Hack 5. Yay! You get an achievement point. I get an achievement point now for getting hurt. Hurt for getting not... That words are not coming out of my mouth correctly, so Shannon's going to do the rest of the show. All right. We chill on the couch. Support us by going over free and simply, subscribing on iTunes and YouTube, anything like that. You can also get all sorts of Hack 5 goodies at the Hack Shop, like a brand new USB rubber ducky and the crew jackets, which are very rare and awesome. And you can also check out our other show called 
Hack Tip, which airs on Fridays? Fridays. Fridays. You can check out the Hack Tip on Fridays at hack5.org or revision3.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook. Find out all about the latest happenings. If you are at DerbyCon, you already knew about the happenings because we were there. You were there. It was so much fun. Without further ado, I'm going to say peace out, yo. And uh, what's the thing we say, Shannon? I'm getting confused. Go get a Band-Aid for your toe, dude. Yeah, I know. Trust your technolast. See ya. When I'm doing some server tweaking and configuring, he's blah and I I as well. It's one of my favorite pastimes. If you're not blah what are you doing? That you can hit the lens. Oh! I mean, server configuration. <laughs> oh, what? I didn't say anything dirty. Did I? Uh oh.